from the United Nations on Wednesday, a call for a two-pronged approach to the conflict in Iraq. The UN Special Envoy to Iraq says there should be military action to push back the threat from ISIL militants, but not without follow-through on political reforms in Baghdad. He spoke to reporters in New York, and that's where we find CCTV's Leland Tan, who joins us live. Yes, Mike, the situation on the ground in Iraq is grave, but according to the head of the UN Assistance Mission in Iraq, it is not impossible. Nikolay Madlov was speaking to reporters from, he was speaking from Baghdad, rather, to reporters in New York, and he said that the insurgents advance into the capital of Baghdad has lost momentum. On the military front, we believe that uh, the advancement of ISIL towards Baghdad has stalled. Um, at this point, the city is well saturated with Iraqi security forces. And as the United States lends its support to the Iraqi army to help fend off insurgents around the country, Mladenov said the success of a military operation hinges on three crucial factors. The first is cooperation between Baghdad and Erbil. The second is on an Iraqi-based plan. And the third is on a national consensus among stakeholders because the threat from ISIL affects all communities in Iraq. And while Mladenov says that the threat must be addressed militarily, the threat from ISIL must be addressed militarily, he stressed the need for political action as well. And that includes sticking to the constitutional timetable here in Iraq, going through the motions that would lead to electing a new speaker, a new president, and a government. And the danger of sectarian war indeed looms large, further endangering civilian life. The humanita humanitarian situation is becoming more dire. Vladinov confirmed that as of early June, some 1,300 people have been killed, 1,200 people injured in the conflict. And these are min minimum figures. And summary executions have been carried out by both warring factions. Mike? Let's talk a little bit about the humanitarian situation there. We also understand that a number of uh, displaced people, uh, that actually continues to rise. It's leading to serious food shortages. What's being done to address that problem? Yeah, some figures here, we're looking at about a million internally displaced people in Iraq. And also, let's not forget that Iraq is also hosting refugees from other conflicts in the region, including 220, um, about 220,000 Syrian refugees. So that brings the number to about 2 million in, uh, displaced people in Iraq. So, of course, that makes the food situation very critical. Humanitarian groups have appealed for funding, but they say they've only generated some 6% of what is required. And on top of that, they've also um, asked for, they've also increased the required funding from $103 million to $312 million. And that's a threefold increase uh, in what they need to help fund these humanitarian, these food shortages. So these appeals are ongoing. All Mike? Right. Leland Tan, live force in New York. Thanks so much.